today is the day that I am off to have my eyebrows microbladed. So it is about half past eight in the morning and my appointment is at 10 o'clock. I have a meeting first. I have penciled them in using the products that I always use every single day. So I've used the Laura Mercier Fiber Brows and the HD Brows Setting Gel. So that's all I've got on this morning. That will obviously all be taken off before the treatment. So yeah, I will keep you posted on my thoughts on the treatment. I will show you it being done and I will also, sh also show you it straight after. So these are the dyes here that she will be putting, she'll be using these dyes on the blade. So this is what's going into, into my brow to fill them in. This is the blade itself. Um, so I've been advised that it's not painful, it's uncomfortable. So I'm currently sitting here with the numbing cream on as I speak to you. So this is what I call taking the job seriously, filming in a hairnet, which I don't think I've done before and at this angle as well, but I have had the treatment now, so I've had the microblading itself. This is now the pigment part of it, I think. Yeah. So this, is, this is Sean here, <laughs> doing the treatment. So it's in the pigment over the areas that I've created the strokes, so it sinks into the skin. So how long do I sport the slug brows for? That's it now, I'm gonna take it. So taking it off take now. It. Hi everyone, so this is after a week now. This is now, well it's actually eight days since my microblading treatment, so I thought I would film a little update on how they are looking, on my thoughts of the treatment so far. I've got another three weeks until I go back for my top-up treatment. Now, I was told by Sean that a lot of people do need a top-up. Some skin just doesn't take as well to the pigment. My skin hasn't really, um, so although I love the shape, um, if I zoom in on the camera a little bit in a second, you will see what I mean. Um, a lot of the pigment has come away, so obviously after the tattoo scabs over um, and then peels away, quite a lot of that pigment has gone with it. So I'm actually, today I, ha I have actually got pencil on my brows, um, which in theory is probably not the idea of microblading. I feel like if you're paying £500 for a treatment, then you don't really want to be penciling your brows in every day. So um, I'm going to speak to Sean about this and um, perhaps go back for my top up slightly earlier. So as you can see, um, you know, my natural brow doesn't come quite as far forward as this. So this is now the blading treatment itself. Um, so it is slightly lighter at the beginning here. And the shape of the brows that Sean has created is amazing. It's exactly what I wanted. I, I do prefer a fuller brow. Um, for me, just really, really thin brows, I just, it doesn't suit me. I have a big face and I have to, I do need to counteract that with, with fuller brows. Um, so Sean has got the shape spot on. She's filled it in up here as well um, and also slightly underneath. Um, so all I want really from the top up is just slightly more here so that I don't need to pencil it in really. But Eight days after, I, I am definitely really, really happy with the treatment so far. So um, I will keep you posted at my one month top up treatment point. So this is now one week after my second microblading treatment with Shandella. Now, all the only product I've got on my brows today is a tiny bit of pencil just right at the start where my brows are naturally finer anyway. So I've been really, really impressed with the results. The first time round after the first treatment, a couple of weeks in, I wasn't so sure about it because I thought that the color was fading a little bit. But when I went back for my second treatment a month later, I, saw, I said this to Sean and she said, look, you have to understand that it's a two part process, that you're never gonna get the brows you really want from just one treatment. You do have to come back and 50% of the treatment is actually when you come back for the second time. So this is now a week later where all the scabbing's gone away, there's no dryness going through my brows anymore. And I am really, really impressed. I think the color's great. I don't think you can tell that I've had microblading done. And what I like the most is that it's really filled them in where I had gaps from um, semi-permanent brows a, couple, a few years back. And it takes me next to no time to fill them in now. Like I said, literally, I've got the tiniest bit of pencil just at the very start of my eyebrows and that's it. So, verdict on microblading by Shandella is 
definitely the thumbs up. I think it's a really, really good treatment for anyone that has sparse brows or any sort of hair, any patches. It's been amazing. Uh, my mum, I've actually recommended the treatment to her. She's going to have it done. She overplucked her eyebrows when she was 17 and they just never grew back. So she now has what look like little tadpoles on top of her eyes. Sorry, mum. And she is looking for the treatment. And for someone like that, I think she'll be the perfect person for it because they look really natural. They don't look tattooed on. Um, the color, the, the variety of colors that Sean has in the salon is ridiculous. She must have about 200 different color combinations. So I would highly, highly recommend going to see Sean above anyone else that I have heard of or seen before. She really is amazing.